Hello, this is Milan from Keytech Industries and today I'm going to show you in this quick video how to set up the Jarvis Wi-Fi Winder. So our new update has uh, its Wi-Fi version so you control the Winder via an app and uh, I just want to show you how to get started really quick. So first thing is you have to download this app. It's the Blink IoT new app in the App Store, Google Play Store, Android, iOS, it both works. And um, then you get a mail from us on uh, we'll send you an invite link. You will need to press the this um, invite link, create password, and this way you're going to directly join our account and join our organization so you can access our code. So now I'm just going to set a password, uh, just setting it up, and then it says done, and I press continue. I can enter my name. I'm going to press uh, Noel Leader uh, because this is Noel's phone. And now I can press add, uh, say password, add new device. And now I have to make sure that the Jarvis winder is powered on. So I'll put on the power here. And um, yeah, power is on. You can see that it's blinking. There's a small light. Then I'm gonna press ready and hope that it finds a Wi-Fi. And now it gives me this Apple message. Do you want to join the Blink Winder Wi-Fi? I press join. And right now, the Jarvis Winder created a local Wi-Fi and our phone connected to this Wi-Fi. And now our phone will connect to the Winder and set it up. Okay. And now I'm able to choose a Wi-Fi network and I'm gonna press this Wi-Fi network. It's the real Wi-Fi that's in, that is in our garage and I'm gonna type in the password. Don't show this. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to press press continue. So now it's doing a final check, seeing if everything is okay. And everything is okay. I'm gonna here it says profile was successfully created. Press done. And yeah, you see the uh, the Jarvis Winder is on now. The Ferrari just homed, so. So before I just went to its home position, which is it kind of runs against this axe, uh, against this motor, and then it knows, okay, shit, I'm running against the motor, I'm going to stop here, and that's the home position. And now here I press exit to app, and boom, I got our app, I'm not going to allow something, and yeah, this is the app. So the app is um, relatively complicated at the moment, I guess, there are a lot of buttons, that's because this is our first version. Um, this all will be automated with its own algorithm, so we're not going to talk too much about the app, but just to give you a quick hint on how to use it for the next week, because in a, a week or two weeks we'll be dropping a big update. So for the next week, the first thing you have to do is home the Ferrari. This is really easy, you just go on home Ferrari, and then I can press the slider and kind of uh, decide where I want the Ferrari could to go. And now we will send you, in your packet with a winder, we'll send you a goodie bag. Um, which we kind of packed in lunch boxes, but it's okay. And in the goodie bag, you will find a perfectly small laser and this laser attachment. And you can just snap the laser, if I would be competent, in here. And then you can just place it on top of here. And this way, you can then adjust the slider position to kind of hit the inner brim the inner side of the spool and press enter. So I press set position, set position, set position. And now I'm going to move the Ferrari to the other side. Like that. And press set position, set position. And you can see now the position down here changed to 12,000. That's just where the thing is on the axis. And then I'm going to press home Ferrari off. So yeah, now that is done. In that, now that we've home the Ferrari, we can start the puller. Here you can press puller on, and then here it will say the speed in meters per minute. And with a slider, you can adjust the puller speed up to 20 meters per minute. So now I'm gonna put it on, and I can select the speed. So this is just a comfortable, small speed. Now that we've tested the puller, we can activate the spool, check if everything's okay. So you can see the spool starts turning, and the Ferrari will move one step every time the spool makes one rotation. And the Ferrari is always kind of lagging a bit behind, so the angle is always like this uh, for the filament. So the filament like sticks to the side, 
and uh, yeah, that's, that's how it works. And you can also change some spooler settings. So if you see, if I hold the spool uh, a bit tightly, it will start to get slower and I can change how much it gets slower if I put tension on it. So this is because we want to keep the filament on tension all the time. So there's filament running through here and if the filament is on tension, it will slow down the spool and the program will notice this. So if it notices that it's under tension, here the tension value, it will decrease. And then you can just change the puller adjustment pivot, which is at which point it will decrease. So right now the pivot is at 333. So if the spooler goes below 333, it adjusts. And here you can change how much, how big the jump is, the speed jump from the spool axis on which it jumps. But all this, it will be automated soon in the next update. So yeah, you won't have to bother with it too much longer. In about two weeks, we'll have a brand new code update. All of this will be um, calculated by itself from the Jarvis Winder. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this short tutorial just for the next two weeks, how to set up the Winder and uh, how the app works currently. And we'll keep you posted in the support groups on the future updates and send instructions on the future app. Bye-bye.